has this ever happened to you? As gamers, our delicate hands are our tools and must be coddled. So, to protect you from the dangers of carpal tunnel, we're gonna undertake the difficult task of holding controllers. Sculpted by the gods, these controllers were made by true artisans with techniques passed down from generation to generation. Fits like a glove, but not the power glove. I'm on the edge of glory, and I'm hanging on to the memories I'm making with these controllers. Why, though? I'd give my little brother this controller to make him feel included. That doesn't mean he has to be comfortable. In fact, it shouldn't be. No. I now have arthritis. My hands would simply disintegrate, like a Thanos snap. So, we've got all these controllers in front of us, so let's get ranking. Wait, people are gonna get close-ups of our hands. I'm kind of feeling this. Me too. Oh yeah, we're here to rank. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, the, yeah. the game controller. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Let's start with a controller that everyone, gamers and non-gamers alike, are familiar with. The Wiimote. The Wii was the first mainstream motion control console, and it really opened up this world of new ways of controlling a game in a way that was just like, kind of, kind of fun. You know how people use a humble banana as proof of God because of how perfectly it fits in your hand? No. Are you saying that God created the Wii to prove that he exists? Yeah. I don't think it's a perfect controller. It's a little stabby, it's a little hard, and I think they improved upon it by mm. having the Wii Motion Plus. Mm. I'm gonna put this on the edge of glory because of the memories I have mm. created with it. <sighs> Gentle. <laughs> oh, right. Next controller, I'm gonna pick something that is near and dear to my heart. It was our first ever console that my brother and I bought with our own money. The PlayStation 1. This controller, I think, was an evolution. Up until this point, the controllers were pretty much flat. Now we have two bumpers, and also we get our first handles, and that's pretty much become the standard for controllers nowadays. So I think this was close, but not quite there. The only time I think I've ever played a PS1 is uh, when my mom left me in the, the gaming room at a grocery store. I don't have any strong associations with this, but I'm gonna be honest, feeling it right now, this thing's tiny. Mm, this is stabbing my palms. Ow, this is painful. Ow, I'm gonna, literally, I have marks on my hands already. That's how you know you're a true gamer. It's because I'm, my hands are pain? Yes. Edge of glory. That seems fair. Does that work? Is that gonna stay on there? Let's take things back even further now with one of the earliest home console controllers, the Atari 2600. This thing is so simple. It's got a button and a joystick. There's something nice about simplicity. Honestly, like there's not much more you could want from the actual functionality of this controller. At the time, this is all you really needed. It's small enough to hold in your hand, it's just not pleasant. I agree. Boing, boing. It deserves to stay exactly where it belongs back in the 70s. Let's get into a new company. Microsoft. <laughs> a new company. I, well, you know, I, they're a company. <laughs> I love the Xbox controller series. This controller to me is absolutely perfect. It has form, functionality, it looks sleek, it feels good to hold, it feels good to touch, to press, to click. More than anyone, Microsoft has really focused on making their controllers comfortable. <laughs> Just feels so good to rub. Wow, that was weird to say out loud. It feels good in the hands. It feels like, I feel like I'm massaging my hands while I use this thing. I like it. I just like it. This is a big, small thing for me that I don't like about the Xbox controller is right here. Batteries. This thing uses double A batteries. Still a great controller Still though. Still a great controller though. Great controller. But this right here prevents it from being the perfect controller. It's nearly there. This thing fits like a glove. Next up, we have the Switch Pro. When I hold this controller, I feel like I'm holding hands, right hand with Mario, left hand with Link. I'm really bad at Smash, but when I hold this controller, I feel like I might be good at it. The best thing about this controller is that every single button feels so good to touch. They don't require that much effort to press all the way down. This controller, I will say, is great. Sculpted by the gods. I agree, that's an S tier. Yeah! No, this is my controller, I can't actually. Yeah, don't break it. I don't can't break actually break controller. this one. <laughs> and then there's this, the Joy-Con. Brings me great joy and Shh. many cons. Look, there's the Pro 
and the, the con. con. Whoa! It comes with the Switch, and that's really cool. And that's about all the things I have to say about it. Dakota? There's not that many problems with it. Like, there's obviously, like, it's a little small, and, like, it's a little, it stabs you a little bit, and, like, there's maybe a little bit of drifting on the sticks. When you have both of them on the Switch itself, it's fine to play handheld, it's not perfect, but, like, they're really not great. There are a lot of third-party options that, like, make the grip bigger. If I'm playing, say, Mario Kart, I'm taking the Pro Controller, and guess who's getting the Joy-Con? Me, because this is my hot take. Mario Kart, I do better with this. I was gonna say, I, my <laughs> little brother, who's oh, fictional. I guess I'm your little brother in this scenario. <laughs> sure, I think you are older than me. I think you're older than me. I think you're, you're older than me, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let's transport ourselves back to a, a simpler time. The early 2000s, a time when maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be presenting a video game conference, where they announced the Xbox, the original Xbox controller. I just immediately wanna, wanna say, why though? Why it's so big? Why the buttons shaped the way that they are? Why do I feel like a baby when I hold this? I played this when I was a kid. I was seven years old when the Xbox originally came out. Imagine a seven year old holding this. We can't put this into the category of I give my little brother this to make him feel included only because a little brother couldn't hold this. We both know where this goes. Yeah, please do the honors. But why though? Next controller we're gonna talk about is the Nintendo 64 controller. It's interesting. People often wonder, how do you hold this controller? And it's actually really simple. All you have to do is you take one of your hands and put them on one side of the controller. Then you take your other hand and put it on the other side of the controller. Then you take your middle hand and you stick that right there, the middle stick. It's not that hard. Yeah, this isn't very good, and really it just leaves me asking, like, why, why they do this? A why, though. Yeah, it's a why, though. It's a why, though. The next controller we're going to talk about is a terrible one. <laughs> the power glove. And that's the power of glove. This thing is so uncomfortable. Not only is, like, the wrist and forearm portion of it digging into my skin, but just like, what the hell is going on? It's on the wrong hand. If I wanted to play a game, I'm not left hand coordinated. What the hell is this? This is stupid. I need your help taking this thing off. <laughs> Here you go. It's like, let me put this on, strap in, power up. This feels like a cast that I'm gonna need after I break my wrist while trying to play with the power glove. <laughs> after wearing this, I think I might have arthritis. While the power glove may have been a little misguided. It wasn't the only way to control an NES. There was also, of course, the NES controller. This thing, very simple. You got a little D-pad, you got A and B, start and select. That's it. For the time, that was complex. I do really like how it looks. It fits the design aesthetic that was like really going on mm -hmm. back in the 80s. My hands have been destroyed after years of playing. I know my hands are suffering and they would continue to suffer if I were to continue playing this. I think this might be little brother material. <laughs> Up next is the Super Nintendo. It's an evolution of the NES in that it's kind of amazing. The evolution of just adding two more buttons and the triggers. The Super Nintendo, where Nintendo learned that you can make things rounded and it's more comfortable. <laughs> It's got its flaws, but it's it's getting there. That right there, that's on the edge of glory. Now let's move on to Nintendo's direct competition at the time, the Sega Genesis. The boomerang. boomerang. Which, why? 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 <laughs> so let's go to another high tier, at least in my opinion. The DualSense, it's kind of like an insane controller in terms of like what you actually get with it. My favorite thing about it is the tiny details that you can see on the backs of the controller. You can actually see little X's, squares, triangles, and circles on the controller. I just love that detail. I think that just adds like so much to the aesthetic of what the PS5 is trying to be. I can't get a PS5, but I can take the controller. <laughs> this controller has one thing. I've never seen before in any other controller. Resistance in the triggers. It feels great when you're Spider-Man, you're swinging through the streets and you have resistance when you shoot out a web. When you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn and you pull your bow back and there's like, a, oh, that's, it's just tough. I don't know who Sony, uh, you know, got in contact with of the gods. Kratos. Oh, ah! obviously. <laughs> I don't have a lot to say about the DualShock 4 controller. It's really good. It's just not as good as the DualSense. Yeah. And that's it. Probably fits. Like a glove. 
How do I wear this? So what you actually have to do is yeah. you're just gonna... Have you ever had a dream? No. <laughs> That's really sad. I know. Well, here, I'll give you a dream. Cast. The analog stick is terrible. It does not feel great on my thumb. Why is the cord at the bottom? Whoever designed this controller watched one too many episodes of Star Trek and then decided they wanted to make a tricorder, a phaser, and also a game controller in one thing, and it looks like a CD Walkman from 2001. If I had a little brother and I really didn't want him to win the game we were playing, I'd, I'd give him this. I'd, I'd also give it to my little brother. Yeah. He's going down one way or another. Ooh. This is a controller that I think I might have used the most in my life. Yeah, for sure. GameCube. GameCube. And I, it holds a very fond place in my heart. And many hearts. And many hearts. And minds and fingers. It's got all the right sticks in all the right places. It's the most ASMR of all the controllers we've talked about today. It sounds like a mechanical keyboard had a baby with a game controller. I love this controller. It means just like so much to me. I love Smash. I've been playing Smash when I didn't know who I was. And that brings us to our last controller. A controller that we all have with us all the time. Have you ever heard the slogan, you are the controller? The Xbox Connect. If we were to say to you that the human body was not more ergonomic than an Xbox controller, you would scoff at us. You would laugh at us. If anything is sculpted by the gods, it's the human body. The Kinect is the most validating, the most beautiful, the most ergonomic game controller that's ever existed on God's green earth. It's clear that these companies learn from their past mistakes and over time have built better and better devices. There are going to be controller designs that we can't even imagine yet. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you agree with our tier list and what different controllers you would add to this and where you'd put them. Join us next week where we will be ranking Naruto intros based on how pumped up they get us.